Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Today, I'm bringing back an OG. Well, not that much of an OG, but a $300 OG from back in the early 90s. Let's discover what it is. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so back in the early 90s when wide bodies was dominating the market, you know, you had your profiles, hammer time, you had your princes, the thunderstick, the storms, those CTSs. What did head have? Do you remember Genesis? Do you remember Polaris? Do you remember Atlantis? But do you recall the discovery? This was kind of the rarer racket from back in that day. Why was it so rare? Maybe because it was like 280 to $300. <laughs> and the most expensive head racket from that day. Practice anytime, day or night, 24, 7, 365 with Fast Track Tennis. Get your Fast Track Tennis today and get 10% off with Tennis Spin. Link is below. And get your tennis on the Fast Track. All right, so let's take a look at the discovery. So unlike the profile, the profile is a constant beam straight up thick. This is tapered, as you can see how thick that is at the top all around here. See how fat that is. That's my guess. I don't have a caliper is at least 32. And then it does taper down here. Looks like my guesstimate would say 26 to 28. And then it slightly thickens up here to about 28 to 30. So princes were kind of like this too. They made it thick at the top for power and stability. They thinned this out for the flex and the comfort and then the stability right here. So from what my recollection was, I don't remember ever hitting a discovery, but a Ventaris and Genesis and Atlantis kind of had a nice flex about them. When you struck the ball, it would flex right in this zone, making it very comfortable. Now, this was back in a time when head was still made in Austria. And from my research, there is Toron in this, which is firm yet comfortable. And it gave it a good kind of stiffness to it. Now, 660 is the head size. Now, there's some confusion what 660 is. It's actually 102 square inches, okay? 102. And there was a dampening system in here which gave you feel, but took out the harmful vibration. So as you can see, there is a window that you can see and it's called the suspension grip. From what I've read, it's kind of suspended in there and basically, like I said, takes out the harmful shock yet gives you good feel, gives you the positive vibes, let's say. Okay, it's a 16 by 19 string pattern. As you can see, the head is on the oval side, but kind of rounder here and here, flattens up here, okay, because of the taperness. All right, so I re-gripped this because the grip was just kind of gross. And uh, this came from my buddy Peter Allen's collection. Um, hope you're doing well, bud. Like, I don't know anything about this racket. Like, I've tried to look up specs for it, and they kind of don't exist. So, let's go find out what the specs are with what I have. Stay tuned. Okay. So, first off, let's check the weight. 
309. That's not very heavy. That's strung too, which is 10.9. Wow. Okay. Let's check the balance next. It's right there. 33.5. Three, three, 300 and 335. 335. Hmm. That's actually pretty head light. Interesting. Very interesting. Let's see how much swing weight it has. All right. Three twenty seven. So there is good swing weight in there. That tells me that there's going to be plow. Um, when I swing this racket, I feel that the weight is kind of in kind of this area, the four to eight and then it ends here at the top. That's what this is telling me, that, that it's going to come through fairly easily. And the weight kind of being overall light, you know, with it strung, 10.9, wow. Because um, it doesn't feel overly heavy, like, like the hammers or the, the, uh, the thunder sticks of this age. Um, and this was meant for that person, the profile, the hammer, 2.7, the, uh, the uh, thunder stick type of a person, um, more on the power side. So let's take it on a court and see if it's too much power for us. See you on the court. so we just got off the court let me ask you guys um coach jared since you have the mic this was out before you were born <laughs> okay have, have you heard of head discovery before to my discovery no i've never heard of that before <laughs> okay do you remember head using like the number 660 versus like 102 195 so, i do not yeah you're way too young then 720 is oversized yes so let's 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 hand the mic to, to uh, rob first then um do you know this racket um i remember kind of seeing it i don't think i ever really hit with it um until today oh, okay. uh, and if i did it was so long ago so you weren't a head guy uh, not not this generation. Oh, okay. I, the okay. graphite edge, yes. Yeah, your edge, okay. Um, okay. But not the, uh, by then, but when these came out, I had already switched to the company that starts with a W. Really? Okay. Because it was really pop, like the, the Genesis, the Atlantis, the, it right. was Atlantis, Genesis, and then Discovery in terms of power. So this was the most powerful racket out of the whole line. 
I've also never heard of any of those models. <laughs> that's because you're too young. <laughs> that's because you're too young. Okay, so this was also the most expensive one. This was the really rare racket of the whole line. Huh. I vaguely remember this was 250 to $300. Wow. Yeah, and that was a lot back that's, in 1990. That's, that's probably five bills now. Right, exactly, exactly. So it's kind of like the... The Prince Boron of its time. Yeah, I remember the Boron. You know, right? Okay. Sorry. That was way, that was way <laughs> we're, we're going way back, That's Jared. That's way, way we're, back, we're, Jared. We're like before your parents were born, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So what did you think of the discovery 30 plus years later? Um, I was uh, surprised when the ball went sailing past the baseline <laughs> repeatedly mm -hmm. when I was aiming at the service line. So um, it had plenty of power. And... Um, you know, the ball jumped. I'd have to swing very hard and it flew. Mm -hmm. I had to make sure I got a little extra top spin on it to right. keep it in. Right. So this this was back in times of wide body. Correct. And hammer time. Hammer time. Hammer yes. time. Right. Yes. So as you see by that fat top there, it's right. real thick and then it tapers down. Correct. So taper beam is is when I first started hearing about it with some of these rackets. So um would you play with something like that, or who would you recommend that to? I don't want to say it was meant for an old man back then, but it was meant for an old man back then. That's who it was meant for. <laughs> I even remember the Genesis who had a lot of power too. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think I I think I remember hitting with that one, but yeah. this was a step um, above. Yeah. Yeah. So somebody who was didn't have much of a backswing, kind of a short, compact swing, um, that had a lot of money that wanted to. Uh, Moral. Um, <laughs> yeah. Who who wanted that extra power? Right. Wanted to swing easy and the ball do the racket do the work for him. Right, felt good though. You actually kept the ball deep with that. I, I yeah, I was trying to hit for the <laughs> service line and I kept almost hitting the baseline, almost hitting it out. Thank God Jared saved me. Okay. Thank you, Jared. Yeah. Okay. All right, let's pass it on to Jared then. So since that racket is older than you, um, what can you say about it? Probably the thickest beam I've ever seen on a racket is yeah. what I'm going to say. So as Harry pointed out, yeah. Yeah, as, as Harry pointed out, this thing has a massive beam as you reach like, you know, nine o'clock and three o'clock and 12 o'clock. So uh, I kid you guys not, the first ball that I hit just flew out of the court. Almost probably almost at the fence if, if Coach Rob didn't save me on that one. I might have volleyed it from the baseline. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, unfortunately, I don't think I was as connected as I wanted to be. Um you know, in my first opinion, as you guys know, with thick beam rackets, I think like pure drive. So I was mm -hmm. like, yeah, maybe I can dial this in. And right when that first ball sailed, I was like, there's, there's no possible way. Um, the only thing I can compare this to is I actually have never tried like the big Bubba. But maybe that has as, this maybe has as much power as the big Bubba from Gamma, maybe. But Ooh, that sucker's real big. Yeah, you know? <laughs> different level. Maybe, different maybe. Level. Um, but yeah, <laughs> it's a snowshoe. Yeah. yeah, exactly. But I just could not um, dial it in. It was just, I mean, a lot of pop, which is great. Um, so I think this definitely gravitates towards, like you mentioned, like older players that are looking for power. Because if you're a modern days player or anyone that was kind of had a good, I guess, technique or a good swing, you are sailing everything along with this thing. Mm -hmm. So definitely um, a power player racket or i guess a power frame in general and unfortunately i just couldn't find the connection on this one so yeah. no yeah. that's that's totally fine it wasn't meant for you um it was meant for people a little on the older side maybe a doubles player um, shorter swing uh, you know relying on the racket for more power um, i was a little surprised i was expecting this racket to flex more because of the taper but it didn't flex as much as like, I mean, old school Polaris or Venturis or even Atlantis, like those rackets, this actually stayed stiff throughout the whole thing, which I guess is why it was the stiffest and most expensive racket of that day. Um, but all in all, great test. I'm glad I brought this out for you guys to try because you guys never tried it before. And I literally haven't ever swung this thing in like 30 years. So um, another one of my buddy Pete Allen's rackets. So Pete, love you, baby. All right. Guys, <laughs> guys, thank you for uh, having fun with me today. All right. Coach Jared, where can we find you? You guys find me on Instagram at Ma Tennis. Coach Rob is done with you. <laughs> Don't talk to him. All right. Thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.